Hey guys, it's Action, and today is going to be an alchemical hydra guide. And I've been doing this boss a decent amount actually, and I find it pretty fun. It's a really good method to make money and train range at the same time. And um, yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty much it. I'm, I'll, I'll get into detail of the method once we get there. However, uh, again, I want to talk about the gear first. Gear, Slayer Helmet, it's a sl Slayer only, so obviously you want that. Uh, Necklace of Anguish boosts the damage from Blowpipe a ton. Uh, if you don't have this, you can use the Amulet of Fury and do just fine. Uh, I have Armor Chest and Legs. If you don't have this, just use a Blessed Dehyde. And Blessed Dehyde is just fine. It, the only difference really is slight defense bonuses and uh, a bit more range bonus. The range bonus is actually not that huge just because the Hydra is so squishy. Low defenses and... Is, if you don't have armor, don't stress. It's literally just best and soft stuff. Just don't don't want, just, you know just use royalty hide or not, yeah, not royalty hide, <laughs> bless the hide. Um, ammo slot, Rado's blessing four. Um, if you don't have it, just use any other blessing. However, I highly recommend finishing the diary to get the blessing four, just because you can wear any type of boot. So and you know if you had to get your loot, if you do happen to die, you can. You know, not have to worry about bringing the right boot, or if you didn't, you would just lose all your stuff because you would die, which would be really bad. So yeah, I highly recommend doing the diary. It really just helps, and it gives you an infinite helper to Mount Carlum. Uh, I was assembler. I highly re recommend getting this just because you save so many darts and it's quite a bit more bonuses. Uh, toxic blowpipe. I if you don't have a toxic blowpipe, you can use well, you can use a twisted bow, which is easily best in the slot. However, if you don't want to, if you don't have a flow type, like if you're on an Iron Man or something, you can just use a, I don't know, a crossbow. Although your kills are going to suffer quite a bit, probably. This is not a crossbow guide. It's mostly a toxic blow pipe guide. Pretty entry level stuff. So, yeah. But if you're using a uh, crossbow and a shield, and just, you know, bring like ruby bolts and stuff. Um, boots, devout boots. If you don't have de devout boots, you can also use. Um, Plus the hide boots, so those work fine. Uh, devout boots are really cheap, though, so I highly recommend using these boots just because you're using so much prayer and the boss has very low defenses. If you don't care about you spending money on prayer pots and just want max kills, you can just bring Pegasin boots, although it's a very minor difference. Uh, I bring Rain of the Gods. Uh, I literally only bought this just for this. i probably start using it for my burst touch just because it gives so many prayer bonuses and it saves the inventory slot with a holy wrench effect. Um, if you don't have this ring, I would. Either use a, you know, if you don't want to invest in a ring, you can use a ring of suffering. So it's plus four per bonus, there's no holy wrench effect. And plus 20, plus 20 in all defense, which helps you uh, when you're learning the boss, just because it'll help potentially make up for a mistake if you don't correct the correct prayer. Uh, but if you want to be full offense, you can bring an archer's ring and do just fine. Just know that you'll be spending a bit more on per pots, that's really it. And barrel's gloves, pretty staple. If you don't want barrel's gloves, just use, I don't know, the lower gloves. I mean, honestly, barrels gloves are pretty easy to get. Now, my inventory setup actually uh, depends. So, this is actually um, well, first off, you always want to bring two Divine Ranging Potions. Okay? This is a 4 minute trip. Pretty staple. Pretty, you know, good. Like, you can potentially, honestly, get away with uh, uh, three Divine Ranging Potions if you want to do like a whole hour. I think 40 minutes is pretty good though just because it fits in with my bird house runs and stuff. Uh, you only need one Antidote++. Plus plus. Uh, you bring two though if you're learning this boss and still don't know how to dodge the poison mechanic. If you can dodge it relatively well, you only need one. I always recommend taking one because you never know if you'll make a slight mistake and taking that poison damage is really bad. Uh, per Potions, I bring 12. If you're learning this boss, only bring like eight or something like that, and the rest would maybe even six or seven. Just because you're going to be learning the boss, you might even be able to get like a handful of kills, maybe less. But then you get the things that get it down. It's it's not that hard once you get things down. It's, it can be a bit overwhelming. Although I think it's this boss is easier in Rollcraft, honestly. At least to me. Maybe not to other people. It's all preference, really. I like bringing uh, Coron Bombs. Very cheap, 18 HP. And another good perk about it is that there's only a two tick delay instead of a three tick delay in typical eating. So, uh, for instance, when if you need to eat and uh, you don't actually need to eat that much, 
if or, or at all if you're like absolutely perfect. However, if you'll make mistakes, like I'm still learning the boss. I have less than 80 KC, so I'm not perfect yet. However, uh, food just helps make up for that. And if you need to eat, uh, try to time the eating. Eat at the end of the kill or when you're running or when you uh, transition the boss because that boss actually has a uh, exactly the same tick that like so if it transitions and you eat uh, it, again you'll attack it as soon as you can instead of you know having a weird tick loss uh, nature runes for high alex highly recommend this especially for people who are camping for 40 minutes or at more and i've lost uh, lavas and airs just to teleport to my house and um again uh for the like I, again remember about the the prep potions if you're new okay we're just gonna move on for now uh go to mount uh Corum. if you don't know how to get here i mean i would guess you know how to get here but i just use the scroll you can use the fairy ring you know i think you guys get that if you're 95 star honestly and you go down the elevator You walk north, and um, if you have 88 agility, you can use this mysterious pipe to get there. It's very, it's barely faster. Uh, you can also have 83 or 84 agility and eat a wild pie, and you'll get plus 5 in your agility, and you can use this. It's so minor, though. It's kind of whatever. Don't stress yourself over it. You can just run. Uh, probably whatever. I, I like playing range. Those things will just attack you. Yep, and go up here. Oh, and again, this is the guy you talk to if you die. He's right click, click. You need 100k. And again, don't cross the ditch. If you if you don't have a diary done, don't cross it unless you have uh, boots for your foot. Again, I don't want anyone to lose their bank because I don't. That's probably happened at some point. It gives you warnings, but you know people sometimes do silly things. And there's the Hydra guys. And um, so before I enter this kill, I actually like doing this boss with sounds on and even music. And I'll explain the music uh, next kill, but uh, like it helps me when I start the kill. But also uh, when I'm uh, during the boss, it helps me like get a flow of like, oh, what he's going to do. Just because uh, damage in this game tends to be quite consistent. Sometimes it isn't though. But in general, it just kind of helps, you know, me know what's gonna happen next just based off the music. It's just how I do things. And but there's a bigger reason on why you should have the music on, unless you have some kind of timer. Um, so I'm gonna put on the sounds. I think the sounds are useful. And uh quick prayers first off. It's gonna be um uh, magic and rigor, okay? And the reason I do that is because rigor is going to give a defense bonus. So if it is ranging me, it can potentially just splash. I'm going to drink my weapon poison before I go in. And as soon as you enter this door, let's go in. Let's run to the corner. It's ranging me. Range prayer. Run all the way over here. Right where I'm clicking. That's three hits, by the way. I'm going to move over here. Switch the mage. So every three hits, the boss is going to swap styles. Doesn't matter if it hits or it doesn't hit. It's going to do range now. Can heal up with the blowpipe spec. I'll just count honestly. I think it's three. Yep, it's three now. Just keep clicking on it. Keep clicking on it when it transitions. It's mage right now. Okay, this part. Uh, it's it's, it's going to shoot an orb, and when this orb goes over here, as soon as you see lightning, run this way immediately. You'll see what I'm talking about. I, th I think that's honestly one more mage hit. Okay, so when this blue orb over here appears, you just run immediately. Over here, run, run, run. And just start shooting it. Mage. Try to keep track of the attacks during it. Just keep on, uh, yep. Like, so pretty much like these fools weaken them. And again, it's just depending on the style and it's just the same thing over and over. I'll explain more once uh, we start next kill. I wasn't keeping track. That was one range hit, two range hit. Say hello if you have to. Move over here as soon as you can. As soon as he looks at you, move over this way when he starts to shoot. And then you just DPS him. This is an easy way to deal with the mechanic. I honestly kind of lost count of everything. I think it's mage next hit now. I don't even know. I sort of lost count. Yeah. Swan. 
So it's range next hit. He did mage, so this is going to be range. It's always the opposite of the last style he used. Mage, range. He also attacks faster. Get ready to move back in a second. Move back. I think it's still range. I don't see Vault's count. No, it wasn't, guys. I'll be honest, it's kind of hard to talk and do this at the same time. This again, it's kind of late, too. Just keep swapping. After he does that initial poison, it's nine attacks until he does the second poison. That was a very botched kill. I, and I'll be honest, usually when I do my first kill, it's a bit botched just because the timings are off and stuff. And I mean, there you go. You got your loot. Um, I'm not going to eat more. Um, you just bury the bones. You can start collecting them as the trip progresses. Uh, to start the kill, you want to go over here immediately. So right here, listen to the sound cue. When it's, when there's dun at the end, watch. Dun, 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 dun. And there we go. Attack him. He's maging. That's one. Two. Three. Swap the range. Get ready to move as soon as you shoot the poison. As long as you do this, the poison will always go over there. And I like to attack and move like this and bring him to the next pool. Uh, if you have him, like right now he's green on the green pool, he's actually going to get enraged a bit. His attacks hit a bit more. But if you're playing the right style, it shouldn't matter. Like, again, like I'm messing up quite badly just because I'm talking. I, I really hope you understand, guys. <laughs> but again, you just want to keep track. I thought it was two mage, mage hits, three mage hits off the range, one, two, or don't go, still so, so one. Move, two, three, go over here. It's it. It, it is, be, be safe, you can be, be as safe as you want. I'll be honest, I think it's range. I, I honestly fucking lost count. It wasn't, but it's fine. <laughs> One, two. After three hits, uh, he will actually go to the mill. I turn off my prayer here. Move here. Attack as soon as soon as uh, like I, I, when he's in the middle. Okay. Don't want to attack him too soon, or you'll get stunned and knocked off. It's this bad. Keep DPSing him. It's gonna be range when we hit. Oh, never mind. I lied. I was gonna keep track. It's gonna be range because he mage. Whatever what the last attack was, it'll be the last uh, the opposite style. Uh, next kill. I'm going to show one more kill. Oh, poison, my bad. Oof, guys, that was bad. Uh, but next kill, I'm going to show... If you mess up the flame, it's not game over. I'll show you how to deal with the mechanic quite simply. Just because I really like the, the chilled out method of doing it. Uh, there are other, other methods, like some people actually intentionally do that for more damage and stuff. But I, I'm not a big fan. I like keeping it simple. I like chilled out. I mean, maybe I'll do that eventually, but I'll be honest. I just like the chilled out environment and just keeping it very simple. I just bury the bones... Go over here again. Again, the sound cue. Quite important. Right now, I can just pray up soon. He's up here right now. I'm going. I, I love that sound cue. You ranged me. It'll always be three hits and then poison. You can put this in. Wait for the poison. Don't move yet. Move now. It'll always do that. As long as you don't move too early, it'll always do that. And uh, you know, I know you guys probably use the uh, Rune Clay client and stuff. You can mark the tiles I'm on and stuff. I don't use that stuff. I'll be honest, I lost track of the thing again. I'm just going to guess this range. Okay, we, we guessed correctly. It's the feel of the music, guys. Two. Three. Mage. Uh, he has a huge damage reduction, too, until he says raw like that when you put on the right poison. So try not to spec if you. Uh, one, two, and just wait until he's actually weak. Wait for that right orb. Go. I think that's one. I don't know. Honestly, I fucking lost count. Two. Three. Yep, we're good. Yeah, around this part, as soon as I get to this, it's always he does three attacks and he's swapping styles. Usually. Three. Range pair. I'm going to show you what to do uh, if you botch it up. One, two, three. So, is this pretend like, you know, 
Oh, I'm trying to run there. Oh, it gets it gets blocked if you don't go in there in time. Like, oh, I'll try to click there. You can't do it. You want to walk? Just walk. You can literally just walk. There are people who attack and run. I, I honestly do that sometimes if I mess up, but it's very rare I'd mess up. You know, just keep moving. Just wait until the flame runs out. And then for, right now, just DPS them. Honestly, I think it's range next to it. No, it isn't. So we're good. Range. One. Two. Oh, it's, now it's mage. So it was range was his last attack, even though it was three. I mean, two. I can do some fancy stuff. Ooh, that's bad. I'm going to get a big hit. Oh, it's flash, guys. I'll be honest, because I'm not used to botching the kill and doing that at the same time. It's pretty funny. But yeah, that's really it, guys. It's, this boss is really fun, honestly. I, I really enjoy it. I really enjoy it. Um, the practice it gives you, honestly. Um, yeah, I just w I hope this guy'd help. Again, I like the music thing. And I'll be honest, I don't think many people can do that type of start I do at the start of the boss, so maybe there's a new method, who knows. Um, yeah, guys, uh, hope you enjoyed it. Bye. If you have any questions, leave a comment and, you know, tell me if you liked it or not.